Okay. Hello, welcome to Evans Mill. I'm your executive chef, Jason Evans. Uh, today we're coming to you from the kitchen. Uh, we're up in the Halcyon penthouse up in our solstice lodge, uh, playing around in the kitchen. Uh, today we're going to bring you, we're going to continue on our knife skills uh, series, and we're going to bring you ginger. Uh, not from Gilligan's Island, but a little fresh ginger to cook with. All right, so we've got this root, ginger is root. Uh, really great smell, um, wonderful. So if, when you're at the store looking for it, you want to kind of look for some ginger that's not squishy. You want it to be nice and firm. Uh, that'll keep it from, you know, it'd be harder to cut if it's all squishy and not taste as well. Um, so what I do is I usually buy a big root and then I can break pieces off of it as I need it. But the rest of it will stay nice and fresh until I get ready for that part. Um, so we break it off and what we're going to do first is peel it. And I'm going to use a paring knife. And I usually start on the end, make sure we've got a nice clean end, and then I'm going to peel down the sides. And it can be a little woody, a little fibrous, um, so just be careful as you're going through there. Make sure you're holding nice and tight. Got good control over the knife. You can use a peeler on these. Uh, I find it a little harder to do. So I like to use my paring knife. All right, so and there's some different, uh, depending on what you're going to use the ginger in, uh, if you want to have some little st strips of ginger for stir fry, then what we'll do is we'll take our ginger, already peeled, and we'll make us a nice little slice. And then we'll make us some juliana ginger. Juliana ginger, that's pretty good. All right, so we'll lay it down and cut us some nice thin strips. So those you could throw into your stir fry. You're obviously probably not gonna eat that big piece, but you'll get the flavor uh, and, they'll, and your guests will see it. So they're, you know, they can eat it if they want to or they can just enjoy the flavor and kind of push it to the side. Uh, if you wanna dice it up small, then we do, do the same thing. We'll cut our little strips nice and thin. And then we can turn them the opposite way. You guys remember our, we call this like a brunoise. So nice and tiny. So these would be great in your soups or your sauces where you really don't want big, huge pieces of ginger. And if you wanted to, you could kind of go back over this some more. You can do it like you do garlic. We can make a paste out of it. All right. Or you can even, if you're just going to throw it in and you know you're going to pull it out, is take and just do some slices. Uh, you could wrap those up in some cheesecloth or just throw them in your soup. That way they're easy to find. Think of it like a bay leaf that you're going to take out after it cooks for a while. All right. Ginger's great. You guys enjoy that and have fun.